jewelry is finished. Where do you sell your pieces? I've got no, no market now. You got no market? No, nothing. Now. I'm looking for the market now. I also joined this uh, trip because uh, um, there aren't many trips who, who do these kind of things, especially this uh, visiting artists over here, but just uh, going into the country and visiting also the people over here. And um, you can meet the uh, artists itself over here, so that's also nice because you can talk to them and you can also see what they make and you can ask them why they make it and how long. They are working uh, on it and these kind of things. That is very nice. From there we went to the Potter's Village, a river plot, where the whole, the whole one side of the village is dedicated to making pots. the um, people going with us on the trip an opportunity to see where the artists work, what kind of conditions they work in or under, what restraints they are, and also learn from that. Learn, learn about the inspiration that people have who have been neglected. And it's a one-on-one -on -one thing completely. We sit down, we go through a process, we know the rituals. Therefore, Richard and myself always go with a feeling of familial relationships with the people that we deal with. We sit down, we introduce ourselves, we go through a whole traditional motion, and only after we've treated and experienced one another as people, established ourselves, only then do the, the art, the craft come into it. And maybe after that, the financial transactions. The finances, that are being paid for products by the people accompanying us go directly to the artist, into that artist's hands. And that's the only way we'd like to see it happen. This is the best shopping I've ever done. It's much more my thing than kind of sand and shopping. You're out in the fresh air with the people, the people who actually create these things. And I think it's a, an incredibly unique experience to be able to meet the artists. Having met um, a couple of the artists today, Philip, Johannes, Settlers, has been a, a totally new experience. I've seen their work before. I've seen it in the Everard Reed Gallery. But this has really been something very, very special. We also then went to go and visit the famous Jackson Shlomwani and spent many happy hours with Jackson. Yeah, how are you, man? Jackson has been making work for many, many years. Now, uh, Christ appeared to, to uh, Jackson through a dream and told him to start making work Japan. to teach the people about God. October, you go. His sculptures from indigenous wood represent his I faith, and he often now. uses symbols of Christ, or Christi no. as he calls him. This is a Christ, new country, new God. Uh, number two, Ephra. Mm -hmm. A new life. Number three is Maria, mother for Christ. Mm. This is a Christ. And Jerusalem, a new. This one. Mm. Golgotha. <laughs> that is most Christ. <laughs> yeah, this one is finished. But it's not finished. Uh -uh. Time to finish, ah, you see. Now, uh, chief is a woman, look. Excellent. New life, now it's a country for women, not men, men is finished. <laughs> women is no fighting, yeah. it's yeah. like fish. Women are like fish? Yeah, no fighting. Who <laughs> see fighting for fish in the water? Nothing. For men, yeah. Oh, day night. Mm -hmm.
Jackson can pretty much preach from anything, whether it's comics from Tokyo or <laughs> prehistoric animals. Uh, they all have a spiritual um, and religious connotation for him. This is a woman for Christ. And uh, this is a Christ. This is a sister for Christ. Uh, it's actually quite amazing what treasures one can find in the strangest of places on these trips. Uh, sculptures worth thousands in galleries uh, found dusty and hidden away, tucked away in corners and under beds and in all sorts of strange places. This is a gun for new country. Yeah, new country gun for women, not for men. Uh, my father, he teach me, he died in 1944. Me, I'm alone till now. My father died in 1944. Me, find women in 1945. Me, start to work myself till today. Oh, my uncle, uh, me, keep it. Uh -huh. But don't see, don't women, don't sunny. Myself, you're caring all for this man. If he may, he scarf, he calf, he give it, he mark sign paper. The most important thing is that you're actually all the time doing something to going forward, trying to create new things. Because once your brain stops working, you know, it's you, that person. Malaika! Malaika Nakupenda Malaika Nakupenda Malaika I think the, the, the most important thing about a project shift trip is not it's it's how each person individually is affected by the trip. Each person comes on the trip for their own specific reasons and it's how they then find the answers or solutions to the reasons why they came on the trip. I think what's nice about this country is it allows people to be free all the space and it makes you really feel alive. The most important thing I learned here is the difference between my own country in South Africa and this rural, rural area. You know, the big differences and uh, you get to admire what you got. To really stop and talk to people, um, find out what's going on with them, what's going on in their lives. We just get too caught up in it and this trip um, has really pointed that, that aspect of life out to me. Um, final impressions, just the heat and the dust and the textures and the colours and the people. Amazing trip. And I think that the dignity of people around us and the sense you go into people's houses and with their sculptures and with all the vibrancy that's around, there's a, there's a picture of our president. We've seen things, we've done things, it's been very inspiring. Uh, we've collected some amazing pieces from, the, from, from some of the local pits. This trip for me has been a trip of contrast, contrasting landscapes, contrasting the various artworks we've seen, the local artists, and um, the contrast in the people and the group that we've been with. It's not a trip that we guarantee they're going to get this and this, this out of it. It's going to broaden them, widen their vision, re-enchant the way that they look at certain things. Uh, and that is, that is really the crux of the whole trip, is the bordering, bordering the, the perspectives, the horse blinkers of an urban context and allowing people to really feel, come away feeling that they have grown wiser. Make this 